Welcome to the Osgood News Network. I'm Eric Marcus. And I'm Jason Sasha. Here are tonight's top stories. As always, the headlines were written by us, but prepared by Chef Rodolfo. He has studied for many years to achieve the same culinary expertise as my microwave, which has the ability to warm food prepared by others as well. The JCR has announced its first weekly themed pub night, bringing the administration of justice into disrepute! <laughs> In a landmark ruling this week, the Supreme Court has upheld a constitutional challenge to the government's recent crime bills, despite acknowledging that they were, quote, totally fucking stupid. Justice Rothstein was in particular support of the bill, stating that making policy and law that isn't grounded in fact or logic is, quote, epically badass. Adding, it takes some huge fucking balls for a democratically elected leader to do whatever they goddamn want without any real justification. Sounds like he's a real boss. Yet this. This morning, Prime Minister Harper entered Parliament with no shirt and war paint on, screaming repeatedly, I am the law, I am the law. A representative for the Attorney General's office also applauded the ruling, saying it's important for, quote, Parliament to pass any bullshit rule based on groundless rhetoric that it sees fit. She also supports the ability of Parliament to go into old folks' homes and ask them to come up with policy based on whatever the hell they think of first. In related news, economists are projecting serious inflation for the cost of living in prisons, as influxes of new prisoners are likely to raise the cost of a pack of cigarettes, well above two hand jobs come reach around. It, it means with. Oh. Corrections Canada has also expressed concerns that with more young, easily moldable offenders being sent to jail for longer periods of time, the entire prison bitch industry is likely to collapse. Yeah, that's a, that's a real game changer. It's a real shame. Yeah. Due to several scheduling conflicts, Feminist Fridays will have to be moved. But, in keeping with a history of alliteration, it is now to be called Feminist for Tuesdays. Osgood Hall is updating its advertising slogan to Come to Osgood Hall Law School because the construction is slowly getting further away from the building. This follows former successful slogans, Sacrifice Builds Character, and Come to Osgood, because it's, like, really technically Toronto. Like, tech. Yeah. A new Oprah opportunity opened up this week, and no one gives a shit. Not at all. As the cruel, twisted joke of construction on Osgood continues, the city plans to have the subway extension finished just in time for it to be convenient for no one. Following the extension, Rob Ford has brought us shiny new subway cars. Quote, sometimes to curb the gravy train, you gotta spend a lot of money on your friends. In political news, Student Caucus and the administration have agreed on a motion to allow York undergrads full access to Osgood facilities, including the library, so long as their feet never touch the ground. The bill was entitled, The Carpet is Lava. Law of War professor Mandel has been canvassing the administration to militarily annex the library space at HNES. Operation Nurse Kill is validated on the grounds that none of the victims will be legal persons. Eh? Really? Uh, all right, okay. Oh. After a Kafkaesque nightmarish hell of filing, paperwork, and a series of death challenges, the Osgood News Desk is proud to congratulate the JCR on finally serving alcohol. This puts an end to the Gradlound curse and allows the cranky bearded man to return to a cave in the woods. On a positive note, following complaints from the student body about the high visibility of corporate sponsorship in the school, the Bay Street firms have agreed to remove all, all sponsorship all slogans and signs in return to harvest your souls direct. Fantastic. Well, that, that does it for us tonight at uh, Mock Trial News. We hope you enjoy the rest of your show. Have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow when you wake up sometime in the afternoon.